Welcome back, everyone. And if you're new here, my name's Rebecca. Welcome to my home here at Farmhouse at Meadow Hill. I'm starting here at the mailbox because I did do a little bit of decorating. And this is our home. And I have linked in the comments and in the description the seven fall decorating series videos if you want to go back and watch those and see how I decorated each section of my home. This is the front porch and I put some mums and some pumpkins and I made the door wreath and Mr. Fixit and I made the autumn sign and we've added that to our porch this year. So guys, let's go ahead and go inside. For this home tour, I'm not gonna call out where I got everything. If you would like, I will put the link to my fall decorating series. It has seven videos all separately where I have decorated different areas in my home. So be sure and check that out if you haven't seen them. But here on the right side of the wall, when you enter my home, I've got a big open concept and I will show you the whole room. I just love hearing from each and every one of you. Be sure and leave me a comment on what you think. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave me a comment and I'll get back with you. I'm gonna take you around the room and show you uh, this home is just open concept my my living room a dining room kitchen space is all one massive room uh, as you can see we have high ceilings and over there is the front door and by the front door is my bench on that wall and on the other side of the door is my hutch and in front of this massive window is our dining room table and right now with the table set the way that it is my husband sets at one end and i set at the other end but when it's not set like that for the holidays then we generally sit side by side and you can see that I do have just some little pumpkin soup bowls with the lids and a very low, not anything high. My husband doesn't like anything high on the table so that when we talk to each other uh, we can actually see one another and then over here by the table is the hutch and I apologize for the lighting guys it is cloudy outside today I did get my front porch shots yesterday so I was happy to get those and I've just added a few things here some a pumpkin in a bowl. And then also the little pumpkin there in the cloach. Pumpkins in a basket. And here is that little lamp just stays there all year. And that is a picture of Mr. and myself and some fall foliage and we've got some jams and jellies all set for the winter time when we're ready to make those homemade biscuits i'm going to move around slowly and through that door is two bedrooms and a second bath the main bath and we won't go into those rooms. One is a craft room and one is a guest bedroom. Uh, that picture there is a picture of Mr. Fixit and myself on our wedding day. 
And coming around the room, there is the TV, and there's a few pumpkins decorated there, and our fireplace. And it's still too warm to have a fire, but it won't be long. We do use our fireplace. It's just got some birch logs in there for decoration for the summer, but it won't be long that we will be having us a cozy fire. Then moving on around the room, there's just some seating, and that is some <laughs> items, real life, folks, real life, uh, some items I was working on. I have a quilt that I'm working on, and there is a quilt that I'm doing a giveaway, and that's all set and ready to go. And then that door leads out to our deck. And the door that is open is to the master bedroom. We'll go in there in just a moment. So coming on around, this is our living room area. Not too much has changed from when I did the fall series for my living room. And we just like to keep it cozy and a few little pumpkins uh, here and there, some throw pillows, and we use the pillows uh, when we're sitting there of the evening and the blankets. And the fireplace, the little, this little antique wooden box, not sure what came in it. It was from my husband's grandfather's shop. I believe it came from his shop. And of course, I tell you all about in the living room fall decorating series about that massive mantle and just a few decorations there. I made those bows and painted those candlesticks, added a few pumpkins. Okay, and moving around, I'm gonna try to go slow so you don't get dizzy. And there is my oak ladder that Mr. Fixit made for me and just a little lantern and my a pencil tree that sits beside it. Those lights come on. I don't have any decorations on it, but the lights are on a timer. They come on about 5 p.m. and go off about 10 p.m. So we enjoy that. And then the little lantern has a little pumpkin in there. And yes, those are real rocks there. I usually have that little pencil tree out on the back deck right outside this door in the summertime and we enjoy it lit up. So we'll go into the master bedroom in just a moment, but let me back up a little bit. There's a little cabinet that has some uh, fall items in it. And if you wanna know about those, you can go back and watch that dining room fall decorating series video. And then coming on around, you remember our dining room table is here in front of the massive window. So right over there is the open kitchen. So we're gonna head over there in just a moment. Okay, coming back from that wall where the ladder and the cabinet, and there's uh, Mr. Rooster sits there on the floor. He gets moved around quite often and just, A little high sign up there in a natural wood and some wheat and a pine cone in that little ironstone picture and some vases with some leaves on it and I'll tell you I'll tell you all about that just go back and watch that video if you like and here is our most recent update was our kitchen and there is a couple of stools that sit there in front of the rustic shiplap wall. And in my kitchen, 
Over here is the pantry. And I'm not going to show you inside that pantry. It is a wreck right now. It needs some attention. And there is the cook's apron, generally my apron. And I have this little calendar and I just love changing the pages month to month with some Bible scripture on that. And that's a thrifted item. And I just love getting the new calendar and, and really enjoy that all year round. Over here, just under the cabinet is a acorn cutting board that hangs there. And moving on over in the kitchen, I have my tear tray and I do have a fall decorating video for my kitchen. Uh, you can go in on that one and watch it. And there is the wood shelves with a couple of pumpkins and just a little sign. Some buffalo check. And over here, these are some uh, items that I have tried this year. Uh, this video is not sponsored in any way, but I love the Mrs. Myers Acorn Spice. Let me know, have you tried that or do you have a favorite in that? Because this is the first one I have tried. And then the pumpkin spice and the copper leaf spray. I love using that in my kitchen after cooking. And those came from Kirkland's and I think they were like $4.99 but I am really enjoying the scent of those and then just above the window is my farmhouse sign that I made and here my farmhouse sink and I just love changing out some florals there that stays there ever since I've done my kitchen. And then just a little coffee station with a little tea towel ladder over there. And I just put a towel over my KitchenAid mixer. And those little pull-out trays, guys, came from Amazon. They are just something I just love. You press in, press in, and push it back. And you can find those in my uh, Amazon storefront if you're interested in anything like that. And here is some wooden spoons for cooking, an old scale with just some old bowls, and those are Ohio, I believe Ohio, Roseville, Ohio, pottery bowls. And when I find that, I just pick it up. I love it. And the old scale was gifted to me from my sister. And this is my favorite candle. Here on this little stand is just a few little pumpkins along with a cooking timer. A little salt and pepper shaker back there. And the corn in the bowl. And that is a Ray Dunn bowl, but I turned it around. I think it says dash on it. And right above my stove is a little sign. Welcome with a couple little Muted color pumpkins that I just love. And then moving on over, uh, this is West Virginia glass. It was handed down to my husband from uh, his mom. And I just put a few little pumpkins in there. I just love displaying that, it's, it is so pretty. And then added some cutting boards, uh, the one in the back, Mr. Fix-It made for me. 
and then the black one is from Hobby Lobby and the other one is thrifted and I found this jar and just thrifted these little copper cookie cutters and added them in there and I just fell in love with that little acorn so I picked that up and I just love the fall leaves that Bath and Body Work ha has this year I got a couple of those so I have my coffee uh, my carrot coffee in there and then this frother I put my creamer in there and it frosts it up for my coffee and then these honey sticks are for my tea and that little container has my sugar packets my stevia and then this right here is oh. my little tea so I can make my tea and then that is some um, pumpkin spice. Now, coming across here is my mudroom, but I am not going to take you in there because it has not been done. We have a lot to do to the laundry room and the mudroom, and that is a whole different story. But we'll go on over here next to the refrigerator. I have a little pulley holding some olive buckets with some greenery in it. And just added a couple little fall signs. And I keep my bread in that because I don't like to keep my bread in anything dark because it will mold quickly. So I added this little basket to just hold all of my bread and buns and stuff like that. Just below that is our uh, covered trash can. I, I don't hide it, it's right there and I love that it has a little foot pedal so I don't have to handle that while I'm cooking. So now we're coming back around guys and this is the rest of my kitchen. And with my floors, in our last time we had hardwood floors, and I did put down some wool braided rugs, but we just love the wood floors, so we decided that we're not going to cover them here in this home. So from the kitchen, you're looking out, and there is the dining room, the entrance way over there, right past the hutch and the, and the entrance way and then you can come around and see the occasional table there right behind the sofa. We got the two lamps and there's our TV there in the corner, our fireplace, our sofa. I will show you our sofa as you're sitting here on the sofa. This is what you see. We just really enjoy our fireplace. And Mr. Fixit's been working on the deck. Now we're gonna go into the master bedroom. And there's not too much that has changed in the master. I did a little bit of fall decorating in here. I will just sort of move around the room slowly. This is our headboard and pillows. And I added a little plaid throw along with a pumpkin. And you can't see it, but that little candle is lit right now. It's a battery operated. And of the evening, it is just so warm and cozy. The end table. Just added a little pumpkin and a hello fall sign over here. And that is, uh, that is us on our wedding day. Have a little clock. So moving around here, let me just use 
So in that door is the master bath and the master closet. And I'm not gonna take you in there. There's the TV there. Over in that corner is a reading chair. I just love sitting there in the wintertime uh, reading my book. And on that wall is, that table isn't going to stay there. It's just a, an occasional table that Mr. Uh, Fix-It had made many, many years ago. And all of that wall is going to change. I've got some family photos. And uh, so that, that wall is going to change. But over there on that table, I have just a pumpkin, like a, a cloth pumpkin, a Hello Fall sign, and this little vase. It has a leaf on it that I got from Tennessee, and that just has some acorns and some old floral flowers in it. And I just love the basket that's sitting there but not, not too much in the master bedroom, so that's it. And now we're heading back out into the main living area. And that, that is just masonite board up there, guys, with a wreath that I hung on there, and it's painted like a soft white. And I change out the wreath to picture different things for dif different seasons. All right, guys, I think we have covered over everything. We're back around to the front door. And I just want to say thank you for being here. And until my next video, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Bye, guys.